Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to share Gen Z experience, some more Gen Z experiences from different branches. So many students have shared their experience, literally so many students, and I'm here to share it, with, share it with you. So it may be helpful for some of the students who have not yet appeared for the interview. And I, also I'm going to answer few questions that has been asked by the student frequently asked question and some of the questions I will be covering at the end of the video I means some Q&A kind of session I'll be taking it at the end of this video so these are the list of now experience I'm going to share from CSE background there are uh, so many experience now let's start with uh, introduce yourself in one minute explain your project what is your primary skill mine is Python Different uh, difference between list and tuple. List and tuple is quite very famous question in Python. What is shallow copy and deep copy? Differentiate differentiate between array and list. How to create an empty class? Okay. Then ask me write a program about sorting of files. Then I don't uh, write a you know code for sorting a list. Okay, sorry. The, then I don't uh, change the question okay so uh, he immediately changed the question and asked me to write a code to sort of a list I wrote uh, using sorted method then he asked me to write a code without using sorted method what is your secondary skill I answered C he asked me why not Java I answered sir I have no problem with Java as well that's cool now another set of questions um, which was shared by him only what are local variable and global variable call by value call by reference what is class and object in java and c we have curly brackets what syntax we follow for python two aptitude question from speed distance and time what are your hobbies what uh, which outdoor games you play any advanced technology you know what is cloud compu uh, computing? Do you have any question? And that's all. Uh, quite huge, around 20 questions he has uh, shared. And you know what? I have noticed like um, those uh, from CSE background, they have shared their experience and their questions, a uh, number of questions is uh, like quite huge. Some people have shared around 35. One girl has shared around 35 questions. I'll come to that. Let's quickly proceed next firstly thank you for your experiences you have provided on your channel it helped me a lot thank you guys um that's what it, this is all for you so that you can prepare well and you can get to know like what kind of questions that has been asked in tr or hr tr interview started like this tell me about yourself course c subject related like os uh, cn basic and osi model deadlock oops concept like encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism. Mention some OOPS language and how many did I know? DBMS versus RDBMS. On my project, implementation, number of people, difficulty phase, uh, phased. Was it done in college or my personal project? Since one of my project was based on DBMS, he asked a query used in that project. How to connect DB to the web page? join in sql index on sql thread versus process linear and non-linear data structure example core java question inheritance abstract and you can see guys cse people have got a lot of questions then he asked me a puzzle blind man and pills puzzle okay please google it out what is that blind man and uh, pills puzzle aptitude questions based, uh, based on ages one more aptitude was based on simple interest he asked me what is ai ml dl since i had made one project based on ml so ml versus dl he covered everything that was there in my resume even the certification he did not ask any coding question but a few of my classmates were asked to code two to three questions just the basic reversing a string palindrome character count hr question was like what is your weaknesses how are you overcoming it do you have any questions for me 
that's all about the TR and HR. Okay, now let's move on. Uh, on 25th, I had my HR round and uh, this was just a document verification round. They asked for Aadhaar card, PAN card, 10th mark sheet. Do I know any foreign language? Can I do my internship virtually or not? Let's move to the another experience and this experience is going to be quite huge. This is shared by one girl. Here I'm not taking any name because let's keep it you know, private. Um, I don't want to reveal it uh, just, just in case. Okay, that's why I'm just uh, hiding their name. How are you? She tell me to introduce myself, told that she will be uh, going through my resume then asked about leadership role okay tell me how you can handle it if a class bunk is occurred how did you handle that okay if out of 50 students if 10 are making fun of yours then what will you do so this question had has been asked to a girl okay guys okay you said you have won the first prize in circuit tricks what was the project and your role okay you are good at dbms and python what is rdbms what is the difference between dbms and rdbms what is what are total keys let's proceed next difference between list and array difference between primary key and foreign key define each key if you have two table one consists of person name and id another person role and number then you have to form a new table then write a query for that given an aptitude questions with two part asked a python code of fibonacci series how will you comment any line what if you have to comment multiple line and how will you delete any file from python what are aggregate and non-aggregate functions what is difference between delete, drop and truncate command? How will you delete the whole row from a table? What is joins? Types of joins? Uh, difference between break, continue and pass. Self and cross join. See, the number of questions is it's like keep on going. Rate yourself for Python and DBMS. Global and local variable. What is iterator? Name the data type what is namespacing why is u and l case used for what is help and dir function is python case sensitive or not do you have any question with me i didn't remember all questions sorry i left some <laughs> seriously you already have shared 35 questions which is quite huge and thank you so much for sharing these questions in detail and it is definitely going to help people at least guys this video is for to for you to revise yourself whether you know this or not just take a screenshot of it and just recall whether you are able to answer it if you ask yourself this question and answer you know in front of mirror like how you are going to present yourself so just this question and this experience is for practice purpose whether you know it or you don't know it just keep on practicing and if you don't know it just read it out now this is all about cse and now let's move to ece or triple e or everything related to electronic background 